Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how I do a French manicure with dip powder. And all of these are sparkle products and I kind of sped up the video um, just so it wasn't like a 20 minute video. But first I already did three coats of peel base and let those dry and now I'm going to start the manicure. <clears throat> and the white powder is Sparkle & Co. DP93 Pure French White. And the pink one is a mix of DP91, which is like a sheer French pink, and a tiny bit of DP45 and a little bit of clear. And so first I'm going to take my step two, which is my base bond, and I'm going to paint almost the way to my cuticle, but not quite. And I'm just going to take at an angle, dip my nail at an angle, just the tip, and then I'm going to sprinkle on my clear or my pink and then my next one same thing just paint on my base bond almost to my cuticle not quite all the way sorry it's out of focus and I'm going to hold my jar straight and dip my nail at an angle and I'm going to kind of tilt my finger as you'll see to the side a little bit like kind of move it side to side very slowly to kind of get that smile line because I don't want it to be straight across if that's the look you're going for then you do you but I like the nice little smile line so dip it in at an angle and you'll kind of see I kind of rotate my finger finger to the side so it gives me more of that curve tap off the extra and then scoop over my clear but you don't have to use um the spoon the spoon sparkle does sell and they're only a dollar and i use them for everything but you can dip straight into your clear or into your pink whatever color you want to use as the <clears throat> most of the nail but for me um i'm just scooping it this time it was just easier but that's just one dip and i promise you with the first dip it's not going to cover the whole nail don't worry it's just a first dip it's really not a big deal and now I'm going in with my thumb, hold the jar, and kind of wiggle it back and forth until I get that smile line. My thumb, I went down a little bit farther than I planned, but it's okay. It still looked good. And then tap off the extra, and as you see, it didn't cover the whole nail, and that's okay. And then I'm just brushing off the extra powder. And then I'm going to go back in with my second dip, and then the same process. But this time I'm going to paint more of my nail and go pretty much down to the cuticle <clears throat> and make sure the entire nail is painted. And then I'm gonna do that same thing and dip in at an angle, make sure I go side to side to get that smile line. And then the rest with my clear. And then what I do is this tool is like the same, pretty much the same as a, the end of a orange stick, the pointed end, and I go around my cuticle to make sure that I get that nice cuticle line. And then second dip on this finger, make sure my whole nail is painted with my base bond. Dip in, make sure I go side to side a little for that smile line. And if you don't feel comfortable dipping straight into the jar like I do, <clears throat> excuse me, you can also use the French tip trays. Um, Sparkle & Co. sells them on the website and they, it has like a lid and then in the bottom, it has like a bigger end and a smaller end. And what you do is just pour your powder in and then you can slide your finger in that way. Those work really well too. But for me, I just dip it into the jar. And then scoop over my clear. Go through with my little orange stick tool. To get it out of my cuticle. And then onto my fourth nail. Same thing, go down to my cuticle and kind of fan it out. You don't want it to be thick at your cuticle. So go like three quarters of the way down and then fan the brush out. So push down on the brush a little bit and fan it in like to your cuticle line. So that way it doesn't get bulky at your cuticle. And then go around again to make sure there's no powder or base in there. Then onto my thumb. Paint my entire thumb with my base bond going down to my cuticle. And then I'm going to dip it straight into my French white. Get my smile line. Spoon over my clear. And like I said, you do not have to spoon over the clear. You can just dip it straight in. It's not going to mess up your clear powder. It's not going to transfer over 
Um, but if you're worried about it, you could always scoop some of your clear into a um, like a smaller container or like a mini jar or have two different containers. Sometimes I use one clear for French mayonnaise or to pour over like glitters and then some one I just use for whatever. Um, but if it's easier for you that way, if any white does transfer over to the clear, um, it's not going to ruin it. But it shouldn't. I mean, it's such a little amount of powder that you shouldn't have to worry about any color crossing over. And then on to my third dip. And as you just saw, I do wipe off my base bond brush on a paper towel after each nail just to make sure I don't get powder back into my base bond because I don't want my base bond to get goopy or stringy. So I always wipe off my brush, but you don't have to. That's just my personal thing that I've always done. And my third dip. And if you like how it looks with two dips, you could top it with clear or just leave it. I always do three dips and then sometimes I'll top with clear depending on what I'm doing. Um, but for this, yeah, it's just all personal preference how many dips you want to do. I do three, especially since the first dip, it wasn't fully covered. So I make sure I do three and then plus I notice with three is when my nails are their strongest and they last longer with three dips. And now on to my third nail dip it in for that smile line and then once you do your first dip as well then you get like a pretty good like outline of how far to dip your nail in you already have that it's like a guide so it's it's a lot easier than you think to do a french manicure um as you can see this is my second time doing a french manicure ever with dip powder so just you know this is only my second time so obviously it's not too too hard if it was it wouldn't probably wouldn't have made a video on it because it wouldn't look that good. So hopefully this video helps somebody. But all of these products are Sparkle and Co. So for Sparkle and Co., if you order for the first time, use code Sparkle10 for 10% off your order and free shipping over 25 always. And you can use my name in the notes at checkout for a nine dollar credit. Or if you subscribe to a subscription bag, which are amazing. Um, you'll get an $18 credit if you use my name in the notes at checkout. But I will link Sparkle & Co. in the comments, and I will also make sure to post links for the products that I used. And this, I'm just brushing off all the extra powder off my nails. And as you can see, that's with three dips. And now I'm going to go in with my Solidify, which is, I believe, number three. And I'm going to saturate my nail. I completely saturate it with Solidify. And this is what hardens your dip powder. So once my Solidify is on, I wait about a minute to two minutes for it to soak through and dry. And then the, I did two coats of this. You don't have to. I just like to make sure that it sinks all the way through. But now it's been two minutes. And so I'm going to go through and I already buffed. So now I'm just doing my second coat of Solidify. I buffed and filed. Everything's good. They're nice and smooth. So second coat of Solidify. And now I'm going to wait one to two minutes for that to dry. And now that that's dry, I'm just taking a dry paper towel and wiping off all of my nails to make sure I get all the Solidify off. And now I'm using Sparkle & Co.'s Glossy 2.0 it's not a new version or like a new formula or anything it's just it's a whole new product but it's the best top coat i've ever used in my life and so i'm going through with two to three try to keep it to two to three thin strokes of glossy and then i wipe the brush on a paper towel this way any solidify that is left over on my nail does not transfer back into my bottle and if it does, it can cause your brush to harden or your liquids to get goopy and thick, which you do not want. So my biggest tip is brush off, wipe off your brush on a paper towel before putting it into the bottle. But I did a thin coat on all five nails and now I'm going back in with my second coat. And this is my final coat of glossy coat. So make sure you can spend a little more time on it. And I noticed with this product, it is self leveling, which is amazing. And the shine is incredible. So, best product ever. I would recommend buying it. And now my third nail with my second coat of top coat. 
And then this one, like I said, take your time. Don't have a whole bunch of product on your brush because you don't want to flood your cuticle with it. Um, and yeah, just make it, spend your time, make sure it looks good. My final nail with my second coat of Glossy Top Coat 2.0. And then after two minutes, they will be fully dry. And here we go. Final product. And look how shiny they are. Like that's Sparkles Glossy 2.0. Highly recommend it to everybody. But here it is. I hope you guys found this tutorial somewhat helpful. Um, let me know of any tutorials you want to see. I'm happy to do whatever you want. And here is, like I said, Glossy 2.0 from Sparkle & Co. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you want to see. Deuces and smooches.